Little discam- <laughs> this is kind of better. I speak English. Little disclaimer, I do not condone underage drinking. I think it's wrong. You shouldn't be doing it if you're under the age of at least 15 or 16. Please, if you are going to do it, please do it responsibly. Now, <laughs> for the juicy bit. Well, that's what guys, it's Nick, and today we're talking about the time that I and about 30 other people almost got banned from the Marriott and Playlist Live Orlando. So, I was hanging out with some of my friends. We were going down to the lobby, you know, chilling, trying to find other friends, because we are gonna throw a small kickback. To protect his name, I'm going to call one of the friends Steve and the other friend Brian. So we're going down and as we're going down as we're in the elevator We're with seven people six people as we're in the elevator Steve and Brian yell out my room number and They start screaming that there's going to be a party in my room I'm not really noticing what he's doing because I have three blunts in my system. I'm high as all blazes, and I've also been drinking a little bit before then. We go down to the lobby. They keep on screaming, everyone come down to room 22238. There's gonna be a big ass party. About 30 minutes pass. I have about, you know, 14 of my, my friends, my YouTube friends. We are just hanging out, having a party. There's no kicking back, relaxing, shooting some beatballs outside of school. We were chilling in our room. And keep in mind, I'm rooming with uh, two other people. They knew about the party. So we're drinking, we're drinking and drinking. Next thing I know, about four random kids, we don't know, show up. We're like, alright, whatever. It's just gonna be 20 people, whatever. It's gonna be a fun time. Then four more people come. And then four more people show up. And then four more people show up to the point where the room literally had 35 people in the room. So, put yourself in this scenario. We have 35 people in our room. 99% of us are underage. We are drinking, smoking, and we are playing loud ass music. So, like I said, we had 35 people in our room. I thought, hey, no more people. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be totally fine. About 25 minutes pass, and like three more people show up. We're like, okay, what's going on? We look outside our room, and there are lines and lines and lines of people waiting to come in the party. There's legit 80 fucking people in the hallway. So instead of throwing that small kickback that we were planning on doing, we ended up throwing a fucking rager. Ten minutes pass, we're still drinking, having fun, smoking. My roommate and her friend leave the room for a second. We don't know why at the time. Turns out, one of her underage friends, which was 15, which I don't, I don't mind that she did this, she got way too uncomfortable at the party. Said that it wasn't for her, and she said that I just don't want to drink or whatever. Which is totally fine, you don't have to drink at a party. Just because everyone else is doing it, you don't have to. So what she does is she goes to the lobby, goes to the front desk, and literally tells the front desk people that there is a party happening at room 22238. What the fuck? Why did we even invite you to the party if you're going to rat us the fuck out? The first rule that you should ever know at a party is don't rat the party out. So she texts my other roommate. We're gonna call her Jessica. And then we're gonna call the girl that went downstairs Marmalade. I don't know why Marmalade was the first thing that popped my mind. We're gonna call her Marmalade. So Marmalade texts Jessica that the cops are on their way up. I kid you not, the cops were literally on their way up. There were at least 30 cops in the hotel itself, and like 15 of them were responding to the call. I start freaking out. I'm like, I'm gonna get banned from Playlist Live. This is the end for me. I'm gonna go to jail. Of course, that's not gonna happen. And Marriott and the police, the Orlando police and Playlist Live Orlando, if you're watching this, please don't ban me from your event. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh shit, we're gonna get in trouble. No. The cops weren't the only one that were coming up to the room. The head of Playlist Live was going up too. Uh, the head of the hotel was going up there too. And a bunch of other people, important people that we don't want to get in trouble with. And they all had band slips with them. So I go around friend groups. I'm like, hey, the cops aren't their way. We need to piece the fuck out. So <laughs> the word spreads. Everyone starts stepping left and right. In no less than 30 seconds, the only people that were in our room were me and one of my other roommates. We wanted to clean everything up. There were empty beer bottles everywhere. There's empty beer bottle cans everywhere. Empty beer boxes everywhere. Empty bottles of liquor everywhere. We're freaking out. We're like, we don't know what to do. My smart mind, and I freaking congratulate myself with this. I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's throw all this in bags and let's throw it to the top floor. They won't know that the party was related to us. They don't know that the beer would be related to us. We'll be fine. So we're gonna do that. We still have empty beer boxes left. I had the other great idea to fold the beer boxes and put them under the couch cushion. Because if, if the cops show up at the party and they're searching your room, they will not search in two places. Keep this in mind. They will not search underneath the couch cushions and the safe. The safe. 
So we are folding up the boxes and we are stuffing them bitches under the couch cushions. We are making it obvious that it was like a missed call. Like the couches were completely flat. No beer boxes were sticking out. We made it fucking perfect. Shout out to Jessica. Jessica, you are the woman. You are the MVP of Playlist Live. So we hit the beer boxes. We still have a shit ton of empty liquor bottles in the room. We're like, we don't know what to do. So like I said with the safe, I open the safe and I stick the empty liquor bottles in the safe. So about 15 minutes pass, my friends invite me downstairs, so I'm like, alright, I'll go chill downstairs. I think we're fine. We're gonna be completely fine. Just wait here, Jessica, and just talk to the cops for us. So the cops do eventually show up. Apparently they did have band slips, and Jessica just told them that it was a prank call and no, obviously no parties were happening in the room. They searched the room, they found nothing, and they left. <sighs> So yeah, that was the story time, how I almost got banned from Playlist Live Orlando and the World Marriott Hotel. <laughs> Fuck you! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, um, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post to this YouTube channel. Am I drunk now? What's happening? Can I speak? If you like this type of content, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post videos like this and videos like other comedic shit, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of cringy. Every single week. I post vlogs every single week. And yeah. Hopefully you can join the family. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Nicole2015. Follow the good stuff. And YouTube. Don't underage drink. Don't throw parties and let your friends yell out your room number in the lobby full of at least 200 people. Don't let your friends do that. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care, guys. Bye. Thank you.